Hello, my name's Steve Fulton and welcome to Real Magic Review and today I have three releases from Dead Rebel Productions. The Papilio deck, the Bet, <laughs> no it's the Con, idiot, and the Psychic Testing Cards. Let's get on with it, shall we? Before we do this, very importantly, can you like and subscribe? Do that before or after, actually do it now. You might as well while you're watching it. Hit the little bell icon so you know when I go live, which isn't very often at the moment, but it will be. And go and see online magic, a few things. Go and see onlinemagic.co, join up, 9.99 a month. Uh, you can pay by PayPal now, just email me and I'll send you a link. It's a bit weird, it's a bit different, but you can, a lot of people have been asking. Um, live sessions every week we did a session debriefing my new linking ring routine and uh, looking at the development of that so you get to see my creative process and I share what I'm learning in real time uh, as do a lot of other people with the special guests that have been on loads of very very well-known magicians have shared their uh, their work so have a look at that 150 odd live sessions at the moment 800 other videos on top of that uh, about and uh, onlinemagic.co learn from a pro podcast Steve Faulkner's Magic Show, which is Beyond the Wand, I, I don't know whether to change the name of it because all my interviews now, which is the main bulk of it, Beyond the Wand, are talking to very well-known magicians, uh, not about magic, but about everything in their lives and, of course, a lot about magic. So the last one that went out was John Gastaferro. That was phenomenal. Have a look at it wherever you get your podcast. Tina Leonard before that, Jack Rhodes, Noel Quilter, Andy Gladwin. I think that's all of them. Sorry if I missed someone out. And two very, very good ones coming up. Uh, once I've edited them, which should be soon, hopefully, after I've had some sleep. Right, this is, uh, I got these a while ago, and the first thing when you see these, are they are beautiful, and in a really tasteful way, because a lot of stuff that gets made in this kind of realm, which is the wrong word, I think, I'll stand right off centre there, wouldn't I? Um, get that microphone out of the way as well, grossly unprofessional. I can't move it, it's stuck to the table, you have to put up with it. A um, <laughs> lot of stuff in this sort of mentalism, magic kind of, it's not bizarre, but it's kind of storytelling, creating a, a feeling with the look and feel of the props. Some of it can kind of hit the mark. This doesn't. Sorry, I mean, some of it doesn't miss the mark. This doesn't. This hits the mark. Sorry, that <laughs> I just slated it by accident then. So what we have here is two card tricks they're not you don't sell them as card tricks but they're kind of mentalism tricks based around this story of dr nevin who was apparently a psychiatrist who started experimenting with electroshock therapy and people were seeing uh, hallucinations and it's all kind of around that so it's a little bit kind of esp history type stuff um it's all very actually i thought it was a real person so i googled it it's not i don't think so anyway um, but you get like the business card in there of, of Dr. Nevin. You get the cards that are aged. I'll show you everything in a minute. And the the stuff that the cards are in or the, the objects, the props are in. That's the word I'm thinking of, isn't it, Steve? I mean, not what I've got is a wallet uh, with the con and these two um, kind of metal wallets cases with the cards, which all look really spot on and look of a time. The business card doesn't so much, but the cards themselves do. Of course, they're, they're decent quality, but they, they look good and they look authentic to the 1900s, I think it was, uh, when this all this stuff is kind of based. So let's have a quick look at it. I'll tell you what the tricks are in a minute. But first of all, we have, these are the, I think, these psychic testing cards. This is what I was going on about. I should have just shown you, shouldn't I, rather than banging on about it. But these are the psychic testing cards. You get two sets. Now, these are ESP cards. So... Whereas you usually have, you know, a circle, the three wavy lines, uh, the cross, the square, you get them here. So this is equivalent to the circle. This is the three wavy lines. This is the cross. Uh, that's the, the star. And this is the square. So straight away, you've got an, the answer to a lot of issues people have with ESP cards is that they all look a bit uh, clinical, which is great if you're doing stuff around that so if you're saying it's about testing but this is you know this is you've told a story about this um this doctor that used to use these so they look old the great thing is they're marked um they're one way so you know what way to turn them over because obviously these are these are one way as well so you don't want to turn it over upside down and you get 
a really strong routine with this, uh, which is a version of Steve Cook's The Gambler, I think that's what it is, um, which is great. I'll put a correction below that. I've read it about five minutes ago, but, uh, but as you know, I tend to forget things. So the point of these, obviously, because you get two sets, there are loads of things you can do with it. He takes you through this one routine, um, and it's a bit, <laughs> as he says in it, you go, you know, have a look at a good, a good version of this, because the way I've described it, it's all over the place. It is a bit all over the place, but so is this review, so I'm with you. Um, but it gives you enough to get going with, and you can do a really strong routine where they, the spectator is mentalist, a routine I love, actually, and I, I remember performing a version of it, um, which was a, no, it wasn't a John Bannon thing, it was a uh, Larry Becker, uh, rest in peace, Larry Becker routine. And that's what made me think of it. It would have been nice if they'd had a double backering or a double facer, which you can do with that routine. I can't remember which, but it doesn't matter. He gives you a strong routine with it and you can do loads. And I'm sure they'll sell kind of um, packs of the cards. They probably already do. I know there's some more releases uh, from Dead Rebel out now, I think through Kmart Magic, but don't quote me on that. So the next one we have is a similar thing, same story. These are the this is the uh, Papilio deck, and this is lovely. This is a, a trick that you'll all be very familiar with, done in a very different way. You show, you show them all, you tell a story about people hallucinating butterflies, and they can cut the pack. Um, you can even, if you're careful, kind of shuffle it, and the card that ends up on the top is the butterfly after talking about it. You do get an extra butterfly card if you want to do a prediction. Um, and again, very, very simple stuff, very strong stuff, nothing groundbreaking in the trick itself, but you've got this kind of, this narrative happening around it, and of course the look. And this is the con. Again, it's a, a trick that a lot of us have seen before. You get five poker chips. These look just stunning. There's no stickers on these. Sorry about that hideous wound. I burnt myself on my finger, by the way, not long ago. Um, so that's hideous, isn't it? I've got to do a gig tonight. Um, <laughs> so I digress. So these, were, these are stunning. They're heavy, they're weighty. I think they're porcelain. I don't know what they're made of, but they don't feel plasticky in any way. You've got an extra one, the uh, Steve Cook routine. They put one of them in their pocket and basically you're forcing that one. So whatever one you end up uh, with when you go through a certain procedure, you know, they take you, say, so take one out and then take another one out. Anyway, I'm not going to go through that, but uh, lovely routine. And then you've got this little card in there, which is way cleverer than it looks. The third chip down will match the chip in your pocket, which is a really strong way of getting um, out of a thing that could potentially be quite weak. This leather wallet, again, is beautiful. It looks really well made, really unplasticky. And I think it's, you know, this stuff's important if you're, you're a storyteller magician um, and, you, and you want to create that atmosphere. So that's what we've got. We've got three strong tricks, pretty basic tricks, no sleight of hand needed really, not much rehearsal, get a feel for the cards, but you're going to be able to be up and running straight away. The marks on the uh, ESP cards are going to be a little bit different, difficult for some people from a distance if it's dim light, but with practice you can kind of see more than you think you're going to see that it kind of jumps out here. But all really well made, great nothing really negative to say. A lot of you aren't going to be into this stuff because you're more into your kind of fancy sleight of hand, as I am too, but I can appreciate this. And I can imagine someone like Roger Curzon, who I went to see recently, who did this lovely, bizarre sort of storytelling magic show, right up his street, that sort of thing, great. I can imagine maybe doing it in that environment, wherever I ever get to, which I'd love to. Um, I don't know. I'm getting too old to do new things now, methinks. So any questions at all, let me know. Thank you, uh, Dead Rebel, for sending those to me. All the tutorials are great. There's none of this fluff, you know, it just get, get on with it, get it done, tell me what they do, give me the links that I need, uh, and that'd be great. And they all start with this lovely little story as well, this nicely put together kind of story, sort of creating the, uh, creating the atmosphere we've been, to, I've been banging on about uh, probably too many times. So, and these, I think these are pretty good value as well, you know, I, I thought they'd be more, they could have put more on this, but I'm glad they didn't. They're about 35 quid, these, and, and that's a, it's a solid thing you're going to get that's going to last you for a very long time. Nothing's going to be falling apart, and, um, and it's all good stuff. So thanks very much, off you go, uh, have a look at the links below, and then check out onlinemagic.co, and then please subscribe to the podcast, Steve Fulton's Magic Show, wherever you get your podcasts, and of course, leave a review. I keep saying it, not many people have done it. Go on, it would make me super, super happy. I'll give you a shout out if you do it on the next one. 
uh, and of course in the podcast. So thanks very much. Take care, like and subscribe. Cheers.